Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Nessus Vulnerability Scanning Tool on Linux. Nessus is a powerful tool that can help you identify security vulnerabilities in your network and systems. It's a great tool for beginners and security professionals. To install Nessus, you'll need a Linux server with at least 4 gigabytes of RAM and 10 gigabytes of disk space. You'll also need a root account on the server. You can install it on Windows PC too, but I will show the installation process on Linux machines. Go to the Tenable website and download the Nessus installer. For your Linux distribution, you'll need to create a Nessus account. You can do this by going to the Nessus web interface and clicking on the create account link. I will give all links in descriptions so please do check it out. Now fill the required details and click on Get Started. After that you will get a license number that you need to note because we will need it later. Now you need to generate another code. So that you need to go to the second link that I have given in the description. But before generating that we will install our Nessus software. To install the Nessus software, open the terminal and run the following command. The first installation will take time, so be patient. As you can see, the installation process has been completed. Now, as mentioned in last, you need to run a given command to start the Nessus Tool services. Just copy and paste the command in the terminal. Now, we have successfully started the Nessus services. Now, we need to run two more commands here to get our license code and one more token code because it will generate us the new offline license that we need later. Now, as per the operating system, you can choose the command. As we are using Linux, I will copy the Linux commands. Now just copy and paste it into the terminal. Remember that you will need to run these commands as root privileges. This command will give the license number that you have got while registration. Now this will be the second command, choose accordingly to the OS. Just copy and paste the command in the terminal. Now this will give you another token number. Now note down both codes. Now go to any browser and enter your local IP address along with 8830 for port number to access the Nessus vulnerability tool. Now a new setup page will come up, as I have already completed the setup so it redirected me to the login page. If you open it for the first time, then you will get this setup screen. Just select Nessus Essential and click on Continue. After that, just skip this process as we have done it already. Now here you want to install online mode. Then you can enter the activation code that you got while registration. Otherwise check the box of registration offline and click continue. If you are installing using an online method, then it will ask for that you will need to access the Nessus tool. Suppose I want to give the username as add me and will the password. Now it will install the Plugin after that the installation process is completed for the online math. Odd. Now for the offline installation method. You need to go on the third link that I have in the description. Now here you need to copy and paste the both codes that we have generated. After that it will generate a code that you need to enter while setting up the offline method. As you can see, it is showing that the license is already in use. Once Nessus is activated, you'll need to update the Nessus Plugins to do this. Go to the Nessus web interface and click on the Manage Plugins link. Then, 
click on the Update Plugins button. Once Nessus is installed, activated, and updated, you can start scanning your network and systems for vulnerabilities. To do this, go to the Nessus web interface and click on the Scans link, then click on the New Scan button. In this video, I have shown you how to install and configure the Nessus Vulnerability Scanning Tool on Linux. Nessus is a powerful tool that can help you identify security vulnerabilities in your network and systems. I encourage you to try Nessus out and see how it can help you improve your security. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.